You could be pre-diabetic and not even know it. In fact, of those with pre-diabetes, more than 80% don't even know that they even have it. Are you in that 80%? I am. In today's video, we're gonna talk about pre-diabetes and who's at risk and what to do if you find out that you are at risk. <laughs> What up YouTube, it's your boy Ed from Everyday Muscle, where it's every day because being fit and healthy ain't a fad, it's a lifestyle. In this video, we're gonna talk about pre-diabetes. What is it? Who's at risk? How did I find out that I have it? And what am I gonna do next? If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell for post notifications so that way you stay up to date on the content that we drop. What is pre-diabetes? Pre-diabetes is a serious health condition where your blood sugar levels are higher than normal but not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. According to the Centers for Disease Control, approximately 96 million American adults, that's more than one in three, have pre-diabetes. What causes it? When you have pre pre-diabetes, the cells in your body don't respond to insulin. Your pancreas then creates more insulin to try to get the cells to respond. Eventually, your pancreas can't keep up and your blood sugar rises, setting the stage for type 2 diabetes down the road. But long story short, it's caused by insulin resistance. I'll place a link in the description below onto my video on insulin resistance and maybe I'll place a card up here at the end of the video so that way you can watch that video. Well, who's at risk? Well, you're at risk if you're overweight, if you're 45 or older, or if you have a parent or sibling that has type 2 diabetes, or if you're physically active less than three days a week, or have gestational diabetes, which was diabetes during pregnancy, or you gave birth to a baby who weighed more than nine pounds. Also, certain ethnicities are at risk. African Americans, Hispanic and Latino Americans, Native Americans, Pacific Islanders, and Asian Americans seem to be in the higher risk category. So how did I find out that I had it? I went to a doctor, had a physical exam, they checked my weight, they checked my blood pressure, and then they gave me what's called a fasting plasma glucose test. The test measures the level of glucose in the bloodstream when you haven't eaten for more than eight hours. My results came back in the normal range. And then I did a hemoglobin A1C test, which measures your blood sugar level average over the past two to three months. And that came back and was flagged because that came right at the border of being pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes is mostly reversible and preventable. If you have pre-diabetes, losing a small amount of weight, getting more physically active and cleaning up your diet a bit will help tremendously. I was about 213 pounds when I was diagnosed. And right now I'm about 208 and I've I've been reducing my carbohydrate consumption as well as increasing my fiber intake and I've incorporated walking because working from home I'm mostly sedentary until I actually go to the gym so doing the walks each day is helping me become more active than just the one hour at the gym which is helping maintain lower blood sugar levels again this is Ed for everyday muscle everyone out there stay safe masterpieces aren't built overnight we're all in it for the long haul peace Yes. <laughs>